music. Can you hear it? Look where we are. We're at the lake, going for a little walk. And I am here with Miss Stella. Stella, hi. Who got her very first bath down the lake. In fact, I don't know if this dog has ever been to the lake before because she's a street dog who normally hangs out just up on the road and hangs out in some pretty, pretty dirty places. What's going on up there? Jeez, Stella, what is happening up there? There's some sort of... Oh, maybe because there's a, there's a holiday. It's the Guatemalan Independence Day, so there's some kind of parade happening up there. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Julie. Yeah, it's a little windy today. It's windy. It's windier now. When, when we first got here, the water was pretty calm. And I put, I, I picked Stella up. I picked her up and I put her in the water and I gave her a nice bath and I pulled off a bunch of fleas and ticks and she's definitely, it's quite possibly the first bath she's ever got. So, um, hi guys, hi PJ, hi Kim, hey Tracy, hi Peg. Who are you? Malik, it's a very good question. Who are you? Who are we? So yeah, so yeah, Kelly, I'm happy to give you a peek into my world, our world here. So this is actually um, my very first walk with Stella. I left the house, and for the first time, she she followed me, and it's been really, really nice. It's been really, really nice hanging out with her. Oh, Andra Landy, you were one of the winners, and you didn't realize it. Um, did you get? Did you check your email? So we have our our final call coming up on Sunday. So Andra Landy, let me make a note. Let me let me make a note and. Andrew Landy. I remember looking at, oh, this is an amazing book. I'm really, really enjoying this book. Wow. Handbook to, the author's a bestseller, Handbook to Higher Consciousness, a book about love. All right, Andrew Landy. Don't let me forget. Andrew Landy. Andrew Landy. Andrew Landy. Andrew Landy. Landy. Okay, do I have your email address? If not, I'll um, we'll figure it out. You want to know something really funny? So they have these leaves here. And I'm always like, who cut the holes? Like, who's going around and cutting holes in these leaves? That's just crazy. So, oh, Sandra, thank you so much for the imaginary balloon parade. So I'm here by the lake. Elaine, it's, it was the um, Independence Day. Roger, I have not had the surgery yet. I was just telling, letting you guys know that I'm going in for that on Tuesday. So everything's actually fine. It's just, it's not, there's a, there's a gaping hole in my mouth. It's not healing properly. So we're going to stitch that up. Um, what was the thing I wanted to tell you? Okay, I can't remember now. Andra Landy. All right, we should we should get going. I've been sitting here for a while. I actually spent the more. Oh, that's that's what I wanted to say. I really wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you for showing up for the kids fundraiser. We did an amazing job together. I just checked. We raised twenty six hundred dollars for the center for the community center. This is providing a safe and supportive nurturing environment for kids to come and do arts and crafts and learn and learn music and just have a really nourishing environment. Um, and you guys made that possible. So I want to say thank you so much for participating in this, in this giving drive with me. I hope this energy comes back to you a thousand times. Vina says, I have a lot of girl clothing toys and books. Does the school or orphanage take donations? Yes, Vina, they take donations, but you'd have to come and bring them yourself. Or have them brought back down by someone in person. Thank you, Susan. It is... It is not available by mail just yet. So, 
Yeah, Stella needed a bath. And Kim, no, I haven't gone back yet. I have not gone back, but I'm going back tomorrow. I'm going in for my next therapy appointment tomorrow. Um, so after that, I'm thinking of stopping by. You tore my sassy. Where is that dog? Yeah, and you know what? And it was really cool because, you know, I couldn't, back when I first met Stella, I couldn't just give her a bath. People were like, give that dog a bath. And it's like, that dog doesn't trust me yet to be able to bathe her. Plus, the, the water in my apartment is like a cold trickle. Like, it would be much suffering for her. So this was actually really nice. We came down here in the heat of the day, walked to the water together. In fact, I made a... I made a video for my YouTube page about it. I should probably share that here. My first walk with Stella. That's the name of the video. Um, and there's actually some pretty cool news in that video, or, or a curiosity that I'm expressing in that video. Um, but it was great. It's actually worked really well. So she trusted me, and we went. We were just sitting there by the water, and I was like, come on, Stella. And I like picked her up, and she let me carry her, and she let me put her in the water. And she let me, um, yeah, just... She was very patient, and she was very sweet. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Aren't you, girl? And I like how she has this, like, black spot on her eye. Like, she's very, she's a dog's dog, you know? And she's really small. I can pick her up really easily, and she's very sweet. But the interesting thing is, Stella also has, she also has a little bit of a, of a sharp edge. Like, like, some dogs came up. If she feels cornered by dogs, she'll, like, fight back, which is probably a function of her being a street dog. You don't survive the streets if you don't, if you can't, you know, stand up for yourself. So next thing is, I'm, when I'm going to San Marcos tomorrow, I'm going to stop by the pet shop, and I'm going to finally get her some flea medicine. I was kind of waiting to talk to the other vet, but I think I should just get it done. Yeah, so I think it worked really well to, like, give her a bath in the heat of the day down at the water. And I don't think she'd ever seen the water before because, you know, she's just always hanging out up on the road. So that was nice. I know, guys. I know. We'll, see. we'll see what happens. We'll see how this story plays out. You know how I'm going to the States for a month, but then I'm coming back and I'm moving into the new house and I made a commitment for one year. Yeah, so we'll see. stinky, but we're going to work on that. We're, we're going to work on <laughs> She likes to, she's really enjoyed, she's seemingly really enjoyed coming and being like in the grass. She likes to like lay down on her belly and just kind of like slide downhill. Yeah. All right, let's get going. I don't think it would be appropriate for me to ask Luke to come and feed Stella while I'm gone, because they're in completely different parts of town. I am going to talk to Aaron about Stella. In fact, I have already talked to Aaron about Stella. So we're going to, I'm going to see if I can't arrange something for her while I'm gone. But Are you going to get her spayed before leaving the country? Sharon, no, I thought about that, and we are doing another um, clinic in September, but... I don't want to leave, get her spayed, and then have her with the stitches, and then just leave her on the street. Even when I get her spayed, I want it to be when I can, like, give her plenty of aftercare and make sure make sure she recovers, you know? Like, I, I would hate to, like, get her spayed and then send her out on the street and then it get infected and then, you know, nobody's taking care of her, you know? So I would, if and when I do that, I'd want to do it in, like, a really caring and responsible way, you know? All right, let's look. So guys, I just want to say thank you again. Um, thank you again for helping out with the kids fundraiser. And thank you for like, really just getting on board with it. You know, I, um, 
you know, I've, I've, I've been having a little bit of a challenging week emotionally and also just, yeah, just some stuff. And just the fact that you guys were really, really there and, and on top of it really gave me a lot of peace of mind. And, um, I just, I just really want to say thank you for being a part of that and just being so willing to help out with these just like really special causes. And, and I'm really glad that we can use this platform to, um, yeah, to like make a difference and do it together. You know, I like that here we have this sort of like really char like a charitable or like a charity focused channel, which is something that I'm really grateful for. And I didn't expect that to happen maybe because I didn't know it was possible. So guys, thank, <laughs> thank you for showing me it's possible. Thank you for showing. No, no. Thank you for showing me it's possible that we can, um, yeah, just really use this channel to do good in the world. And Belinda, hi, Belinda Campbell. So I want to give some updates about the retreat, speaking of Belinda. Hi, Belinda. So Tamara Christie, um, on my list, I, I've taken the morning in silence because I was just like doing a lot of reflecting and journaling about some stuff. But when I go back, I'm going to make lunch and then I'm going to sit down and do some stuff for the retreat. Um, Tamara, I'm going to message you um, with some information. Um, also, guys, if you if you don't know, like the retreat is live. It's live on the website. Oh, and we're doing... I'm doing an official website launch on Friday with the graphic designer who helped me design the website. So we're going to be doing a tour of the website. You can meet her. Um, her name is Calandra. She's really cool. She's a very magical woman. Um, so we're doing that. So the retreat page is officially live. We are taking um, not even applications. Last time we did this, there was like an application fee and you had to submit an application. This time we're not doing that. It's just you just sign up. You just give us a little bit of information. We ask you some questions about, you know, do you have travel experience? Um, what are you hoping to get out of this experience? You know, why do you want to come on the retreat? Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. We've rented a lake house. So we've rented a lake house um, here at Lake Atitlan. Hi, sweetie. We've rented a lake house here at Lake Atitlan um, that sleeps eight people. So Luke and I are going to be curating an amazing week no we have six days here at the lake and then two days in Antigua we have some awesome activities lined up it's gonna be really special I'm super excited about it so we have six spots available so if you have ever wanted to come down to Guatemala if you've ever wanted to meet me if you've ever wanted to hang out with me if you've ever wanted to just have your own adventure and step out of your life and come into a magical other world come doors are open so it's december 6th through 13th and we're also going to do christmas shopping trips so you can get all the hummingbirds your heart desires hey everyone hi hi D dana i like how um i like your use of, of space all right i need to i need to focus i can't this is a very difficult maneuver with one hand all right let's go let's do this da -da -da. Craig. Oh, Craig, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, this is for women only. Um, just because for the lake house we're renting, it's a shared accommodation. So we don't feel, I personally don't feel comfortable putting dudes in the room with women. So this is a women's only retreat with a focus on yoga and meditation and cacao. And we're going to have a lot of, um, a lot of like journaling prompts. You're gonna get a tour of Karuna and the farm and my land, and we're gonna we're gonna do the whole thing. It's hard to hear me, maybe because I'm in the other world. I'll show you what I'm. I think I showed I showed this to you guys already, but I'll show you again. Wow. Wind is sick. So, yeah, Stella's been great, and I like hanging out with her because she lets me know if anyone is nearby that I haven't seen. Like she's she's a good like guard dog. 
Oh, Kasim, if you're going to be weird and marry, marry, marry me, I'm going to have to just like, I think, no, I think you're done, dude. Sorry. No, no, sorry. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sarah Reese, it was really you. If, if you, here's the thing. If people, there's one thing about bothering me. It's another thing about bothering you. I don't like it when people bother you guys. And so that makes me want to remove people much sooner than I would remove them because they make me myself uncomfortable. Does that make sense? All right, let's, let's go. It is 1.50. It's almost two o'clock. I need to go make some lunch. Oh, where is Stella? What, what are you doing, Ken? Are you on the table? Let's go see Stella. So this is a really interesting place. This little beach has these, like, stone tables. Stella, did you, did you, are you, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. She had her very, very first bath, possibly her first bath in her entire life. Are you ready to go back upstairs? All right, let's go. Linda, love you too, girl. So she's had her bath. Next thing we're doing is I'm gonna get her some flea medicine. So I'm going to San Marcos tomorrow, and there is a pet shop there. So I'll pick her up some stuff. Yeah, Angie, Stella, Stella has chosen me. So this is this is what I say when it's like adopting a dog is really kind of just like waiting to see what what dog adopts you. This is our first walk together. Okay, let's go. How do you know her name was Stella? Lisa, funny you ask that because it's not like I don't think it's the best name. I just kind of tuned into her when I, like, I kind of tried to avoid naming her. Like, I haven't avoided, I haven't named the cats because it's just, like, it's such a source of attachment once you give them a name. But I kind of tuned in. I was like, are you ready? I was like, I just kind of tuned into her, and it was just, like, Stella. It was not that I, like, creatively thought about her. I didn't even think about it. It was just, like, Stella. I can't even, I can't, like, think of anything else. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Stella, mine. No, she's she she belongs to herself. Keep the cats too. I know. I wish I could. So it's interesting to see how she reacts to other dogs. So remember, she comes from the streets. So she's had to be very... So the funny thing is, like, she's really, 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 really sweet with the cats. Like, when the cat was was there, um, like, eating next to her because I fed them, like, she was very kind to the cat. She was very, like, non-aggressive with the cat. But then when these dogs came, like, came up, like, if she feels cornered by dogs, like, she apparently will protect herself. So we'll see what happens here. Let's 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 watch and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens. Huh. Hey buddy. Hi. Hey sweetie. What are we going to do here, Stella? She's just too itchy. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, she's cool. She's cool. Everyone's cool. Everyone's cool. Look at that dude. He's like... 
He's got wood. He's got a lot of wood. Hi. Ah, oh, someone's out. Someone's spamming. You're out. I'm. I'm. You're. I'm outing you. by Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's keep going up. You'll see. If you watch the other video, my first walk with Stella, the static video I made on the way down, she was a little bit more aggressive towards the dogs. So this time she wasn't at all, which is good because I don't want her to. I don't want her to be aggressive. I want her to get along. But I also want her to know that she can stand up for herself if she feels unsafe. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Angela. Hi, Kelly. Bella. Hi, Bella. And I was also thinking, it's kind of funny that, like, Bella and then Stella. It's nice to have a companion for my walks. Which way should we go? Which way should we go? That way? Okay. Oh. What? Show us a snake. Marilyn, I wish I could show you a snake. How about a little ant carrying a, a leaf? Is that exciting? I think that's pretty exciting. Come on. Come on. How old? I don't know. She's our, she's already an adult dog. I think she's already had puppies by the looks of her boobs. Um, and that's good because I think with a puppy, you don't really know what you're getting. Oh, so where are we? Oh, let's go this way. I've never been this. I've never seen this stairway. Cool. Yeah, see, this is a really interesting place. Like, somebody curated this and cleared the land and is like made all these staircases but there's no is this a movie yes john this is a movie john just so you know this is like so if you don't know i'm erica and this is a reality tv show but without the tv it's a reality show where i'm taking you into my life and showing you an alternative way of living in guatemala and if you like house building shows i'm building a house not yet but the thing is, I'm doing it in real time. Hola! Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Wow, I have never known that this little staircase is here. Alright, I have 19% battery. My my phone... Oh, so we were just down there. My phone... Um, just gets killed by these live videos, so... Hey, St. Ellen. What's up, girl? All right, now we're back on the road. Oh, this is great mossy rock. I'll show you. Right here. Look at this nice mossy rock. Ooh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, so nice. <laughs> oh, John, you're out. Sorry, buddy. I don't care what your nuts look like, and we don't need to hear that. So, bye. Good luck on your adventure. May the forest be with you. Cool. Um, I love to come here.
Yeah, she really is. Ah, oh, Tracy, thank you. Appreciate it. A Pro Max phone, a Pro Max phone when you come to the state Maryland. What is that? What's a Pro Max phone? Stella, do you know what a Pro Max phone is? Gosh, she looks so much cleaner than she did before. She was really, really, really dirty. Her head is still dirty because I didn't put her head in the water, but I got her I got her in the water till about here. And then I just used my hands to bring the water up, and she had a little cloud, a little cloud of dirt floating in the water around her. Okay, let's get going. So, interesting fact, Hotel Lomas is down there. So, Hotel Lomas is owned by Maria. And they, I believe they're the ones who actually paved this road. She's surprisingly, she was surprisingly very cool about getting the bath. I think also because it was just like the heat of the day. And uh, it was, oh, hi, Goldie. It was the heat of the day. And it was just like a really cool, lovely experience of the water. I think it was, you know, it was new for her. So she was a little like, ah, what's going on? But she, it was really cool because she, she trusted me to, to do it, you know? Elizabeth, am I still collecting for the community center? Thank you so much for asking. Yes. Um, in fact, I wonder where the link went. Um, yes, I'm still collecting for the community center. I feel really good. We've Last I checked, we hit $2,600, which is amazing. Um, and that fundraiser, so this week is a matching week. So all the donations up to 50 bucks. So all the donations you guys made up to $50 we're matched fifty percent, so I think we've done really, really well so far. Still collecting donations, um, but I'm being very, being very easy about it. Like I'm not pushing it because we've already we've already done so well. You know? Oh, dudes are having lunch. Tamara, oh, Tamara, Christy, Tamara, it's on my list. After lunch, I'm gonna email you. Oh. I'm going to email you about the retreat, so I just want you to know you can expect that. Hey, buddy. Hello. What is Saturdays? What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He is a skinny dog. Hey. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, Terry, I would give her a bath in turmeric. <laughs> But then, you know, she would stain everything. That could be something for the future. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Now we're back. Um, repeat question, Diane. Are there professional surveyors to survey land besides just tree markers? Uh, yes. So, like, when I, when I bought the land, in order to prepare for the meeting with the lawyer where, we, where I purchased the land, they had a professional surveyor come and like map it out and measure it. So with each parcel of land that I am stewarding, it has its own little map um, with the dimensions and stuff. So I would say, yes, there are professional surveyors. 